Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And we have a fun and unexpected video for you guys this Thursday. That's because on September 30th, SRG320 updated the binary on GitHub for the Sega Saturn Core. So we have a brand new version of the Core. We're going to be testing some new games on it and talking about how to get the most out of the Core because it is a little bit more complicated. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support our Patreon, we have a link down below. But the new core is here. It is still not finished. It improves some games, makes some worse, and some games seem to be the same. So this is an iterative version, but the fact that SRG320 gave it to us with this current situation is always amazing. Now I know in previous videos there's been some confusion as to how to find this core, so I'm going to show you now where you can locate it. You need to join the main Mr. Discord, and I'll leave a link in the description below as well. And under Mr. Cores, there is a channel called Saturn Stuff, but you don't see it unless you go to Mr. Cores, and then you click that hashtag icon right up there. And that's going to show threads, and that is Saturn Stuff. People have been getting tripped up on this. This is how you do it. So if you want to get that core, just go right there. Now you're going to see if you go up to the pins, there's going to be multiple cores based on the build date of 930. Top one is single RAM, bottom one is dual stick RAM. You can use either one of them depending on your setup. I am testing on single RAM stick because I know that's the majority of what you guys have, but I do have a dual RAM setup and may do a video on that in the future. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see it. But the core is here, it is working, and it definitely has some improvements. Now there is an additional improvement you can get by running the unstable branch of Mr. The main file, and I will show you how to install that in a few minutes. But that's kind of more for people that really want to get into the nitty gritty. But you'll see here in Fighters Megamix, the resolution changing is now working. Saturn liked to change resolutions between progressive and interlaced, and while there is some garbage in this, and it is a small image, through the magic of editing we'll bring it back up, because this is running in a higher resolution mode on Saturn hardware, and on Mr. Here it does seem to be working much better now, which is a good thing. Fighters Mega Mix is a game that I could not get to launch on the previous core, and now it is working, and you can play the game. I didn't have any freezing, just these glitches when it goes to show the replay. Not sure what's going on there, but hey, if you want to get around a Fighters Mega Mix in, you can now 100% do that. Every once in a while, it will do this freeze. That's just where the core is at this point in time. It's not a knock on it. It is still in progress. But let's take a look at a fighting game that I didn't get to freeze whatsoever, Golden Axe The Duel. This is a very interesting game. If you never tried it, definitely give it a shot. I can't say it's the best fighting game on the Sega Saturn, but it is a good time. And it is working near to perfect on this new version of the Saturn core. This first level here, without any reflections, I don't see anything that doesn't look accurate compared to an original console. Although not many people own this game, it is quite rare. If we move over to another stage though that is dealing in reflections off that water, if you look closely you're going to see that the character shadow is inverted and upside down behind their sprite, so there does seem to still be some work needed in VDP1 and VDP2 to get those effects working correctly, but honestly what is here is playing exactly how I would expect, and this is another game that I could not get to launch on the previous core. Now a personal favorite of mine and one that you guys asked me to test was Puzzle Bobble 3. The next testing video is going to be 100% your requests, not what I want to see, so leave me a comment down below and tell me what game you want me to see tested on this new core. But the reason I'm using this game is one, it plays to perfection. I have this as an original copy as well as an F3 arcade board and this is an amazing version and it's working well mister here. But the audio is really good as well. There's a slight hum underneath it, but for the most part, it just sounds like Puzzle Bobble 3. So go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds and come back and talk about Unstable Main.
So yeah, outside of cleaning up some of that static in the background, we are getting everything that you would expect in the game. But I know earlier I mentioned unstable main, and I know for some of you, you're not going to have any idea what that means. Well, there are two branches of Mister. There's the stable release version, that when you use Update All and Downloader, you get down. And there are test versions that are unstable versions. Now, I use them rarely, and I never show them on the channel just because I'm not sure if I want to teach you guys how to do unstable main, but people asked. It is not hard. You just go over to Unstable Nightlies, and you're going to see this unstable build right here that has a reworked CD drive code for the Sega Saturn. This is going to increase the efficacy of this core for your testing. If you go into the main root of the Mr. Data, you're going to see a file that just says Mr. There is no file extension. We are going to be changing this out, but trust me, preserve it. All I do is copy this file over to a folder so I can back it up. If anything goes wrong, I just replace this file and everything will be fine again. It's going to look for that file name. So all I'm going to do is change this file name to something that will indicate to me that it is the original. I just use BU, so that's Mr. Backup. From there, when you download that unstable build for Sega Saturn or any unstable Mr. Build, all you're going to do is copy it over to the root of that drive as well, but you need to rename it because it's going to look for M-I-S-T-E-R. Make sure the capitalization is there. I don't think it matters, but just to be sure. And all you do is reboot your mister with that new file, and you'll see I'm on V220927. That is the date of the unstable main. It helps with Saturn. Now, comparing the two cores together, the 810-2022 build versus the September 30th build, some things are kind of hard to notice, but if you look closely at the right-hand side of the screen, the newest build on Panzer Dragoon, I do think that it's running slightly smoother. The movement of the camera, the frame rate, it does seem to be slightly improved. Now, there's not much to say. I mean, there's still missing effects here, and this is a very, very close comparison, but in the feel of how the games are playing and how it articulates motion, I am starting to see a difference in these two builds. But the biggest difference you're going to see is games that didn't used to work now do work. And I will leave a link to the spreadsheet that a user named Fuzz keeps that tells us what does and doesn't work. And by the way, I told him I'd mention this. He has a new Twitch channel where he's streaming some retro games and some Mr. stuff. I will link down below, but he does so much for the Mr. community. If you could do me a favor, you should check that link out and maybe subscribe to to him. Other games are just working almost perfectly, like KO Flying Squadron here. It is doing what you would expect it to do. The audio is, like I said, a little scratchy and ever so slightly not perfect, but as far as the controller response, as far as the look of all those 2D elements, all of that different parallax scrolling, this looks identical to being on a Sega Saturn, and that means the core is improving and getting better. These things do not make themselves overnight, and especially with SRG320 living where he lives, the fact that he's doing this in and of itself is unexpected, and I'll leave a link to his Patreon down below too, because it's the easiest way to support him. But some things are just amazing. Some things kind of do perplex me though. If I go over to Panzer Dragoon Zui here, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, I just can't get it to boot. Some people have luck with this. I've tried different BNQ files different dumps and it just doesn't work for me and that's kind of the status of this core what I succeed at you may fail at what you may succeed at I may fail at and there is no real rhyme or reason there's probably some more research needing to be done to find out why it's working for some people but not others but if you can't get a game to boot up that you see me playing here leave me a comment down below and tell me your specs and I can see if I can help you but if it still doesn't work it just sometimes just doesn't work but something like Dragon Force here, that FMV intro, is working really, really well. And this is one of the games that everyone asks me to test. It's not my cup of tea, but I'm here for you guys. And I will say that you can definitely get into the game and get some gameplay in. It is working relatively well, and that's the kind of the experience with this core. Things are working for the most part for the majority of the games. Of course, there's still going to be things that don't work whatsoever, but that's the evolution of these cores. Even the PlayStation 1 core, which is now basically perfect, a lot of games didn't work on that in the first few months. That's where we're getting with Saturn here, but that's the fun in testing this. We get to see what's working and what needs improvement.
And it's always fun to help test these things. I love seeing how the sausage is made. And I know a lot of you guys have been really into these testing videos. Like I said, the next video I do will be I'll use requests. Make sure you leave me that comment down below. But something like HyperDuel, it seems like shmups on Mr. just work the best for Sega Saturn. I don't know if it's just that they're not using VDP1 and VDP2 to all of their different capabilities and different instruction sets. But I will say that games that seem to be working the best with audio seem to all be in the shmup genre, which is awesome because Sega Saturn has a ton of them, so you really can't go wrong with it. But I just think it's a fun little aside that the shmup crowd is getting the best of this still very much work in progress core compared to all of the 3D fans. And I will say, I didn't show it on screen, but I tested Burning Rangers on this new core, and that seems to be less stable, which is not a bad thing. Progress is being made, and sometimes you actually take a step back to make those two steps forward. But something like Rayforce here, incredible. If the audio wasn't slightly scratchy, I would have absolutely no idea I was not playing this on original hardware. And again, it just seems to be that shmups are working the best. And if you like the genre like I do, you're going to be in for a really fun time. But like I said, it's still in progress. I'm going to update this every couple weeks with some more tests because I know you guys are enjoying them. But definitely get in on testing this as well. I've seen a lot of comments where people are talking about, I'm going to wait for it to be done. You can, but a lot of the fun in the Mr. Community and a lot of fun in projects like this in general are getting in on the ground floor and helping out. You feel a better accomplishment. And as far as Daytona USA is concerned on the new core, I was able to complete a race. Every single time I tried to play this game on the old core, it would freeze before the end of a race. But in this one, I was just able to see it from start to finish. So you can definitely tell while the improvements are iterative, they are there and they are working. And I will say of all my testing, Mega Man has been the utmost perfect game. The sound is near perfect. The gameplay and visuals look exactly how to expect. If you're looking to play, in my opinion, the best working game on the Mr. Core to date, try that one. But yeah, it's a brand new update for the Sega Saturn as of September 30th. And of course, if this core gets updated again, I will definitely make another video. And again, big thanks to Fuzz. He keeps me updated on changes to this core because I was very busy at work when this was going on and I didn't even see it until he pinged me. Short of that, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you're thinking of the current Sega Saturn core status and give me those games you want me to test for the next video. But Saturn has been updated and you guys can go check it out today. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.